That's a 16. I love the person who wrote First Peters. Hmm? For Peter Soka nya Sula Yakuna and that's a sixteen. Or you need your rock no mukaga. If you are there, you say amen. Ah, ah. Peter, Peter, Peter's chapter four, first Peter's chapter four. Peter Soka Sulanya Ah verses sixteen. Or you need your kuminomukaga. Let us start with verses twelve. Tutandike no recumine be. He says Agamba Dear friends, Abagara, do not be surprised Temwe Wunyanga at the fury ordeals or kweba o kulimumwe that has come on you. O could to test you. As though something strange were happening to you. <laughs> there are certain things you, you go through. And you feel as if it is strange. It is strange. It's not normal. It's not the usual things. He says, my dear friends, don't be so surprised when you see things are not going the way you like it. You are seeing a hard time. You are seeing few odious. Or you're wakati. Amen. He says, don't take it as a surprise. But in verses 13, he says, <laughs> but rejoice in as much as you participate in the sufferings of Christ. Hmm? Rejoice as you suffer in the sufferings of, as you participate in the sufferings of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed. For the spirit of glory and of God rests in on you. Amen. Amen. Whenever you see sufferings, he has told you rejoice. It is a sign that the spirit of glory and the spirit of God rests on you. Amen. Amen. It is an indicator that the spirit of glory and the spirit of God rests on you. He has said, because when Christ appears, he will be revealed in glory. Even you, you shall be revealed, you shall be lifted into that glory. Whenever they lift Jesus in glory, you also shall be lifted in that glory. You cannot only suffer his 
suffering. You cannot share in his suffering. But you also share in his glory. Do you understand? We don't suffer in Christ for nothing, in vain. Just suffering in Christ is very profitable. That the more you suffer for the name of Christ, you shall also be a partaker in his glory. His glory. Tell your neighbor. You don't only suffer for the name of Christ. But also we share in his glory. Amen. Verses 15 says, If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or a thief, or any other kind of a criminal. Kuvanga omuntu yenna kumwe tabonya abonyeze bwanga nga munsi oba mubbi oba mukozi wa bubi oba akette byabanne. Or yes. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed. But praise God that you bear that name. For it is the time for judgment to be to begin with God's household. And if it begins with us, what will the what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? Mm. Maybe if you hear this, he says that judgment cannot start from out. It starts in the house of God. God starts by putting his house in order. But when he gets out there, if people of the house can be, can be judged, what will happen to the outsiders? It will be too tough. It will be too, it will be so much. So he says, do not, wherever you go through hard times, don't, 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 don't see yourself as if you are you are done. You are getting. You are going through something strange. It's not strange. It should not be strange at you. I can tell you one thing. Christianity does not take us away from challenges. But what Christianity does, it puts us in line where God can stand with us in those challenges. Amen? For the world, they are hanging themselves because of what they go through. We are in the same world. But Jesus says you are not of the world. People are hanging themselves. Because they have been de de denied. 
they have been rejected. A husband has left him in the house. He kills herself with the children. That's what is happening in the world. But who are who we who, who are in Christ? We just feel that these are part of life. And Christ is with us in them. And we are more than conquerors in him. Tell your neighbor, I'm not going to die. Gamba kulina nyenti shige na kufa. Situations will come and meet me and leave me where I am. But I will stay as a born again child of God. So don't give up. 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 There is a song that says. Don't give up on God. Because he will never give up on you. He's able. <laughs> Amen. Don't give up on God. Because he will never give up on you. Amen. So Amen. he says, I'll never give up on you. So don't give up on him. No matter what the situations of life may predict. No matter how many things may come and approach you. No matter how many things fight against you. Stay steady in the presence of God. Stay standing in the presence of God. Let me give you a, uh, something like uh, l l l l an illustration over this. When you look at the trees, hmm? what has ever gone into, the, into a bush? Or into a, fer a forest. What happens? All trees experience the same storm in life. Yes? True? All, all trees all plants they experience the same storm of life. But you find some trees when they have fallen, others are still standing. Hmm? Amen? Amen. You may find some trees are still standing. Others have fallen down. Let us now get on to the buildings. All buildings they are built by men. But they are buildings that can stand a test of time. They can stand the test of storms. And they stay standing. Firm and strong. But there are others that cannot stand it. You have heard of so many schools whose roofs have got off. And the buildings are down. Not because of anything else. The foundation matters. Even the trees. Their foundation matters. Amen. Amen. A foundation of anything. Matters a lot. Amen. Amen. It matters what? 
a lot. It makes a difference. So some people want to climb so high. Minus the root down. And they have forsaken the roots. They have forsaken the foundation. They want to build on from the top. And it is very hard. Because the test of time will come. You will never stand. Amen. We tell people. Be in the presence of God. Seek God. Know who your God is. The time is coming people, where no person will be able to stand. Minus the foundation God. I repeat this. Let me speak prophetically. Let me speak as an apostle. Let me speak as a prophet. Let us play in things of God. But the time is coming. Where people will not stand. We are people going will not stand. Where are people going to fall down? Because they have no foundation. When we come in church here, it's not only we to get good. We are also looking at the foundation. God is establishing our foundation. Some of us we are saying that we are delaying. But let me tell you. I am one engineer. I know what it means. If you are to go high. You have to first go deep. Amen. Amen. I'm an engineer. I know what it means. You, the higher you, you are to go to, you are anticipating to go. You have to first look for the depth. Osoka kulaba wansi joge jo so so kugenda. First mind about go digging deep. Soko feyo kukugenda wansi no. Before you rise. Ngatona imoka. Amen. Amen. Let us first think about how deep we should go. Because some of us we are in church. We have come in church for petty petty things. I need money. I need God to lift me. Who is, who is that person who is lifted high? Minus a good foundation. Allow God to make a good foundation for you. And let God be that foundation. Go deep in God. Go deep in God. Before even you look for the flashy things. You know, there are certain things. The world is not going to be in position to hold. Amen. There are things in this world. The world will be will not be in position. When you go in a book of 
Psalms 42. Verses 7. Psalms 42. He says, he says, Agamba, that deep calls for a deep. Every time we don't go deep, we shall never be in position to go high. I was telling you that let us consider trees and buildings. Buildings are built by men. But there are buildings that go high with good foundations. And there are buildings that go high minus good foundations. But all their buildings, but what will differ? What will differentiate them? It is the storm of life. When the storm comes and it hits the building with, the, with, with no foundations, they will always fall down. When, but when the storms of life come, when and they find a, 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 a building with a stronger foundation. It is an implication that, that when it doesn't fall, it is an implication that that building was built well. Before you go high, look for that deep. No one that wants to go deep. Those days when we were building our house, my wife put in a lot of her money. And she told me, Musumba, we are bringing a lot of materials. But every time they are telling us, finished, finished. But we are still in the foundation. Where is the material going? Where is the material going? Now we are spending a lot of money. In honor of the foundation. It took us time because they had to lay the bases down. They had to dig deep. They had to, 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 to cast concrete in the deep. They We had to, to, to lay bars. And we spent a lot of time. Even he could ask the builders. I'm tired of you. You are not going anywhere. One, two, three, four weeks down there. What are you doing? Because if you were to raise a building high, the foundation is very important. Brethren, in the name of Jesus, we are seeing where we are going. Now don't be speedy with the world's speed. Take time in your foundation. Tell along in the presence of God. Seek God. 
Go deep. Genda buziba. Go deep. Genda buziba. Go deep. Genda buziba. Go deep. Genda buziba. The world may laugh at you. And say it's so cool. And they say what is there going on? Look at them, they are always in church. Look at them. Look at them. They have nothing. They are always in church. But you go deep. You know what you are doing. Be strategic. Strategize and say, I'm going to spend some good time. In the presence of God. I'm going to dig deep. In the presence of God. I'm not going to, 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 to weaver. I'm, going to, I'm not going to get off. I'm going to stay fast in the presence of God. And I will seek God. The God of heaven. And one day, he will finish my foundation. And when the foundation is done, the world will know who I am. Let us make the presence of God to be our foundation. And said, I'm not going to be shaken. I'm not going to wander around. I'm going to stay steady fast. So down. And I wait upon the Lord. And the Lord will reveal himself. One day, one time. The world will know. Who we are. So, to, one thing I have understood, I've faced a lot of hard times in life. Even to, to date, so many things still fight me. But let me tell you what they are fighting. They don't know it. You know what? By the time the world have seen me, they don't know how long I stayed digging the foundation. Let the winds of life come. Even I still welcome men of them. They will hit me. They will leave me standing. Because they don't know how many years I took in the presence of God. Digging deep. The world could not see me. Because I was going deep. Down. Even they provoked salvation. This one has made salvation to be abused. Why is he holding fast on salvation? Why did he get saved? That, that didn't it, one year. it didn't took two it years. Didn't take three. It didn't take three years. It didn't take four years. It didn't take five years. It didn't take six years. It didn't take six years. It didn't take years. It took six years. It didn't take 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 Every time I'm in the church, I'm going to church. They speak even about my God. But I was going deep. I, I knew what he was doing in me. But I was going deep. Nowadays, I know what it is to go deep. If I had not gone deep, what surfaces us? If they wouldn't have, left, they wouldn't have left me standing. 
Biandi tumaze wote biandi tulesenga tu imiride. So when we say let us go deep in the presence of God. Some of us we play around with them. The, you just come to church anytime you want. You serve God as if you're helping him. Serving God, you are not helping him. You are helping yourself. You are helping yourself. God. Mukama. God. Katonda. The creator of heaven and Oye earth. Oye gulu nensi. The creator of his generation. Oye yatonde mirembe. You cannot intimidate him. Toso wala kumukanga kanga. You cannot serve him. Mbu sija muweleza. Look at what he's leading me through. Laba ibe biyampi samu. You cannot intimidate him. Toso wala mukanga. Because you are not helping him. Kubanga tomu yamba. God has been there even before your existence. God was there even before man was created. Even before Adam. Yari wonne Adam nga tannabao wasn't he there Yari taliwo eh? Let me tell you Kan kubulire God my nance me Katonda nga tali nange remain is God Asigala nga katonda But I without God Na yenze nga sili na katonda I'm nothing Sina chendi So serving him So okumuweleza I'm not helping him Simu yamba I'm helping Going into his presence. And I tell it longer in his presence. It does not help him. It helps me. Who is the beneficial of it? Me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We need to get back in our places where we lead a life of going deep in God. Let us have a look at a, a, a tree. A tree is very wise. When it is still a little tree, its roots are just there. The more it grows, the more it establishes its roots down. Because it knows if I remain with those small roots which I had before I grew, it cannot, they cannot stand. I cannot stand when the storms of life hit me. Yesterday I told my people in my house and I told them this kind of playing in the things of God should be put to an end. Be no coma. Church sawa emu. Ngatu tuse ku church. We have to reach at church by seven. Kati gori na kumanyambu imba natu kaku church sawa emu. Ni nakuva waka sawa meka. You have put that in your mind. If I'm to reach at church at seven. Tu ni nakuva waka kumina bili chitu. At what time are we supposed to leave home? And we hit the road. Whenever you do not come early in the presence of God, even God takes long to come in your things. We want God to be fast in our things, but we delay to come in his presence. Which kind of equation is that? You delay to come in the things of God. But you want him to be fast. You will also say, eh, 
Let me also come late in your things. So let me tell you. No play. Salvation is not all about gymnastics. Uh -uh. No. It is a life that we establish, that we set up, and say, let us look and seek the God of heaven. Let us walk with him. Let us look for in his statutes. Last week I read the scripture in Chronicles, and it says, those who refuse to seek the God of Israel they were put to death and they said we have resorted to seek the God of heaven anyone who doesn't seek the God of heaven let him be put to death they made a vow they made a vow before they are God. And they said it today. For sure we have been off. But let us seek the God of heaven. And they sought him. And he was found by them. When they found him, then him he gave them rest. Round about. Enjoy zona. O kweto lolo blambwa. Amen. Let us resort to that anger. Katu. Let us resort to that hunger and that thirst where God's presence is, 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 is the only thing we need in life. Amen. Amen. They call for meetings and people don't attend. Baita meetings ya bantu. Bata jia. People are just somewhere else. But let me tell you. I got a message from God. God is saying. Katonda agamba. Let my people who are in my house. Leka bantu bangabali mnyumba yangi. Play. Bazanyi. But I'm bringing another people who have been in the world. They have looked for solutions in the world. The world has not given them a solution. They are running to church. It's where they have seen the solution. And people who are in church, they are passing out. They are saying, ah, it is better I be in the world. People who are in the world, they are seeing fire. They are saying, let us run to church. And those who are in church, they are saying, let us go to the world. Even there is somebody who gave us a, a, a dream. But just that he's not also around. He's not yet around. He's not And yet he's. Uh, 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 mm. um, what was the message? Umami mm. Abagambati. Umami Yaja Rali Rakuna. Naja Natugamba Avante Vekchoto. Musumba, I know Bobaka Wekanisa. Nemu leading a dim sumba is running mutuara. Now you get young one. Wanga go go babu waited the dollar go to say it. Go bawa do back. Ya to say it. Ah, never go on my guitar to be. Mukama was the Wemsum, but when number of Sam Lingarios Akagati Nariko one no, in fact, the wicked to Jimazewan. Natoli Mukuno and Yamakama, a younger to a Garakato and Yogeri of Rambafe, a chairman's manatolator, Musaja, Gaventebe, 
ya tugambe ntoita kuba itababiri no dawo munda mbu wali akalo ke baita kabale ati bali ku choto nga basaba makama na mulete kabale kabale i know ekanisa ebiye ya musumba josephine eh ono mama wa manya ye mpozi wa bwe wali akalo kabale ye manyiye musumba josephine e kakati oyo musumba ili ya lisini ya pastor wa chache yo ji yavam te yatuma na mubaka katonda ya mugamba west ukire ugendo tu sova kateti ya yogela vigambo vingi yiva mugamba vya yogela nadayo katina gamba nti yala vya chache no nga bwe sini ya pastor weno chache ngo odina bendera za mirundi yeviri bendere ya munga ya israeli ngo jesi vye mugongo ule bichi vila guli aha deni endalanga ya guanga lino yuganda kati ngo jitade kumuti nga wazile ega nizivere ya waguru deni wakati uo mutogo nga weto roze za wama inja kuminabili kata gama inja kuminabili na gama mkama ya mugamba ama inja kuminabili gali nga chikirevi ke kuminabili vya israeli deni na gama nti mkama ya gambi nti kanise na genda kuleta ama wanga kuminabili aga genda kutukiriza oba aga kugate kuga tukirize cho mkama chakuiti deo kula mchitu undu chino na amara na gama nti Echila lechili mchache no. Atonde ya gambia bawele za baamu. Teba ulira. Ntibweba itababuli zive njiri. Teba gara kuja kuhulira njiri. Weba itabega ilizi. Abega izi teba gara kuja kuega ilira. Aba imbi bajo vude bobo weba gara. Teba jira kuvude bwa chache. Nga weba babu bagamba. Naga nti naba chara basumba badeku vya oto vya abwe. Odeo vega ilire. Nga aba chara abasumba. So, echo chia yogedi. Iye. Awo ya maze yedi ya zeyo. Nange nenga ambe chiti wa chidile mukama yogedi. Ya funye kubifuri wachi. Eee. Eee. Anzi jebe. Kakati. Naga ama nta abobo na abebo za abo za mubifobi ya abwe. Gali ama wanga kuminabili. Ale itababe. Atebe wawaba zee. Badobai na kufawo balini wanga beba imirila mubifobi ya abwe. Siku wakatakobu gasi wabula. Banena baba denga. Bebo zaburi zamo ifobi obo wa wade. Ate. Bali abamu kama wivaji ya kujaba tokilize bifobio. Echila la waliwe chintu ulusi mchachi ya fe. Aba wede za viva. Aba kulisa viva tana baku tegira. Ulusi wola angiri lechi sivu. Nyevala bangatoli uo. Bo. Na wone babi vako. Ata atecho sichi tufu. Tebanga anze na funo uvaka kuveli mukama wali kilia. Nga wali uvu vuyo wali uvu uvu kuchachi. Na henga ate wali toli uvu viselevi. Kati wena ringa ngeenda ukwe reporti nga kupolisi. Na henga kukubira. Na henga ankulaba kwe joli. Ate mukama jayagalu uvele. Kati nema nyanti kwe choko la chitufu. Uyabacha alo uzanti bwemba sila vye musumba nange sija bigenda yo. Bandi wanga vye siguli de kugwe. Nga guwali kuchitufu. Bonga chivako la tebachi manya. So tuwegende leze. Ekanisa umusumba wa mita pasta muangu zipita. Nenamba yesu mi ajilese. Avela antebe. Ekanisa vajito ulugendo luobu lokozi. Chino chichi, tuja, tuja. Olugendo luobulo kuzikuza, buja. Ida ndoza, umulaba nti. Ukole sewa kwe kanisa kwe ku. Zoni, kabale. Mukama iba zive. Kati kubuli ya uvu wako uvu. Kali tebele za mukama natu mumuntebe. Imagine God sending a person from Muntebe. Eira, obongo tusoboro kula tia. Gamba, obongo tusoboro kula tia. Tuzu kuke. Binebi, ntu binebi obolo kozi. Bia seche no mu. Oluge ndolo obolo kozi. Ngambi mchala wange kumacha kuno. Nemine jajia. Bagambi mbabu ulide. Sige nda genda na muntu ye na muguru. Muguru ngenda angani. Aha. Aha. Bwenzu kuka kumachia. Wanji. Bwenzu kuka kumachi. Kumachia. Nga nkubi yao mmoto kachisumuzo. Sui. 
Tuchitegede. Siri nda muchi. Sige nda gina na muntu muguru. Ngenda angani. Na ugenda angani. Oge, buli omu agenda angani. Era buli omu agenda kula vika masu gamu kama angani. Tugama to musumbo ulimpolele zako. Ndeka. Nze change kubu ulira chichi. Chitufu. Gwe oye chicho kukola cheba kukoze batia. Cheba kugambi. Gambo vulugeno lovulo kuziruani. Wasechi nomu. Wasechi nomu. Bangambi obubako oboni ngamba mkama atuwe chiche. Echisa. Echisa. Na hii mkama murunji. Agamba. Mkama yampu uvaka. Na ngamba nti musu yawe. Nze mkama tampita musumba. Ampitani. Na ngamba yawe kankuburi de. Aba ntuteba tegede. Nti ensi. Ezude chidu kilo nti kanisa. Era badu kabalu yingirachi. Abali mukanisa. Batu nude weru. Munsinti yerie chidu kilo. Batu nude weru. Nti wali yechichi. Echidu kilo chafu. Na yenja galo kutegiza. Yesu ya gamba. Endigaze zimu tegele dobozi. Era wezi yingira. Zimanya edobozi liye. Newe ziba zifuruma. Tizi furumila weru wa, ge, wa ye. Era zitambuli na mchi. Mungiri na dewe ziba zifuruma nga zige ende weru. Era omuli angu ye ye. Newe ziba nga zi ingira. Era omuli angu yani. Na gamba. Oyo ye na ite bali bali na abu kachikomela na agwa munda. Agamba ntino. Taba chichi. Taba andika. Aba mba. So this is what I'm going to say. Until every time we lose the foundation, we lose everything. The Bible says in John, John 10, verses 1, very truly I tell you, you Pharisees, Anyone who, uh, who does not enter the, the sheep pen by the gate. But climbs in by some other way. Is a thief and a robber. The one who enters the gate. Is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him. And the sheep listens to his voice. He calls his own sheep by the name. And leads them out. When he has brought out all his own. He goes on ahead of them. And his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But, verse 5, but they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him. Because they do not recognize the stranger's voice. Verse 6 says, Jesus used this figure of speech. But the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Verses seven. Verses seven. Therefore Jesus said again. Very truly I tell you. I am the gate for the sheep. Verses eight. All who have come before me. Those who have come before me. Mm-hmm. Bonna Bansoka. Mm. 
Those who came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. They will enter through my gate and again go out through it. Let me tell you whether you are you, you can't, he didn't tell us to get out of salvation. Then we can come in him and go out through him. Even if you've gone out to look for money, you go out with him. Even if you're coming in, you come in with him. He says that when they they've gone out, out and they've gone out from me, they will find pasture. Pasture represents the needs of the needs of life. When you enter through him and go out through him, even if you go out, you will find provision of life. Because you've gone out through him. He's our provider. Whenever you go out through him, he's going to provide for Let you. Let me tell you people, whether you are in him, wherever you are in him, things will work out. Amen? Amen. Verses 8 he says, Verses 9 he says, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find the pasture. Verses 10. The thief comes only to still kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it in to, to the full. You see, hmm? he says, when we enter through him, even if we are going out, we go through him. He says, we shall, we shall have life and life in abundance. Life at its full. But if we choose to go out of him, life will become very miserable. Tell your neighbor, a miserable life. Are you there, my fellow servants, ministers? Have you gotten some science in your brains? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verses, we were on verse 10. Verses 11 says, I am a good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The hired hand, the hired hand, the hired hand is not a shepherd. And does not does not own the sheep. So when he sees a wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. This is what happens. 
servants of God, ministers of God, are we hired? Are we hired? Why Fellow ministers, are we hired? He has said the hired, a hired hand does not own the sheep. Hmm? Ever since I was with my pastor, ever since I was with my pastor, I made sure that I don't behave like a hired man. Amen. Amen. If you are Even in his absence, I could make sure that I do all my work. My pastor could go out. There is even a time he went to, 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 to Zambia and he stayed there six months. I, uh, they, they, he could go out and he stays there a month, two months. To me, I could see be, be, be ministers in church. The church gets full when the pastor is present. If he's not around, there is a time he reached and said, I will not announce when I'm going out. Because when I'm to go out and, anou and I, I now announce that I'm not going to be present, people will not attend. People will not be part of the church. And they are there out. On their phones. Is the pastor back? That is a hired hand. The Bible says, when I was with my pastor, I could hold the responsibility. In fact, when he's not there, it's the time I have to do a lot. Pastor is not around. I have to be there early. I go in that office and pray. I intercede for the ministry. I intercede for him where he is. I could come very early in the morning at the office. If I used to come earlier when he wasn't present. And I could pray for him. God, wherever he is now, he's doing ministry. Lord, give him the power. Give him the grace. Let him minister. Let him flow. Because I'm not hired. I own the sheep. I own even my pastor. I reached at a time and I, 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 I thought as if I own my pastor. I could go and pray for him. I could feel that way. If he does something, my, my intervention, he may not succeed. 
And it may fail. And this is a live testimony. When I left that place, when I left that church, my pastor called a bishop in Pastor Laban in Kenya. And he told him, please come. Laban came in Uganda. Uganda. He went to my pastor. He talked, they were talking to each other. And he told him, I have so many ministers here, but no, none of them is like Yahweh. Go and talk to him and see if he can come back. He, he called, Laban came to me even we scheduled a meeting with my pastor. Ne, ne, and we sat together. Ne wamu. Three of us. Basatu. That I may go back. Why? Rachi. Even to date. Ne he still speaks about the same thing. Why? I never wanted to work like to be like a hired man. Wherever I, I could see the flock, it is a flock of my pastor. But I could own the sheep also. I'm not hired. Not hired. So let me tell you. A higher, the Bible says. Bible A hired hand. When it looks at the wall of coming. He's, they are talking of challenges. When they look at the challenges coming, they cannot stand <laughs> and say we are going to stand. We are going to go through this. Do you know the Bible says Bible they run away because they don't own the sheep. Hmm? Verses 12, he says, The hired hand is not the sheep, the shepherd. And does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wall coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wall attacks the sheep, the flock. Uh, and they scatter. The, the man runs away because he is a hired hand. And he cares nothing for the sheep. I speak unto you, ministers. Let us not work as hired people. Leka tuleme kola ngaba ntuba pangi se. Hmm? Hmm? Wanji. Hello. God does not work with the hired. Katona tako la gana ila tako la naba pangi se. If we are to establish a good relationship with him. Bwetuba ngatuna si mbenko la gane nunji memu kama. Even those who are on YouTube. Namu abali ku YouTube. In any church you are praying in. Mukanisha yona jo sabira. Don't work as a hired hand. Toko la nga mukono mupangi se. In the house of God he says. Munyomba ya mukama agamba. They may be a hired hand. Wai nzo kubaya yonga wali uo mukono mupangi se. But when that hired hand sees a wall. It runs away. It will never stand in challenge. 
you have a message. Any message in Nakuzima? Hallelujah. Amen. Musumba Zemba Denz Jangafuna Obaka Oba Chachi. Nayoksunza Kunjidi Yale. We can wait enough for nature or tongue and have anti. Wali ozemu moto kaa unaba weleza. Mm. Aba manya katia kawa dao, kawa dewe kari, kati mm. ni mkuba ya tonye. Mm. Ngevi soto vinji, mkulosti ni ya wadavu, gana inga mwini mwaba sumba, naba weleza abalala. Mm. Kati moto kanega, na nesele, la nesele, la mpila na jizi na buzi nyewe jiti. Mm. Kati, eh, ne, kati nima dene tude wali eri. Mm. Ni ngamba, kati sisovo la kugena anti nsindike. Mm. Kati ya weleza ni mwaba 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 Nizo uwe kutuko lechamu, aa, mm. neba vamu omu, abamu neba dao, neba zinga weba temikono, mm. ne, omu na asigala amu, siso wala kwa atu, kiliza manya, na omu ya asiga demu nga atude. Mm. Nawe umu njini no vamu, no dema, bega no sindike moto kaa, mm. ngoba tunulira vuti, ngobutufu ngonye nya mtuwe nga tovi tegira. Mm. Ne mpulire naku, kati abamu baba dedi wachengu, e, 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 miliangeri. Kati neba vayo nga, ichi ya chigenda maseno, nga wala we moto keganyi, mm. e moto kange, e sera we buka, we kola weti, mm. ne inga tedi ya vayo, omuchi ya vudaga amba, mm. tugendeli tufunaba saji ya vajiba kole, chivajiba basimisi, mewa ni moto keyangu we iteo. Ba haya ringe ya vajiba. Yes, vajende bafunaba saji ya abamanya, wababa tamivu, tamivu, wababa jiba setulewe bisoto. Mm. Kati muli mutima ne mpulire nyike, ne ingamba mukama. Nze singa mba den soba nali ba den nginda nengu la chine nsindika. Mm. Nenga mpu ya soba la kubatu kia mba gane musindike musindike. Mm. Kati noji vamu no tambulangu nye nye mtu ne mkrosti na vamu. Mm. Ne mwambu kawali wa shengu no deli yengu no imira woti. Mm. No tunuranga tobi tege ranga webu uze chokola. Mm. Nenga ba wele zavuli wa mwali wali yetu ulide. Mm. Kati noko maonga wadenti wagena vela wa service. Mm. Kati wagenzo ko maonga service. Muli mubwa na buto buno bu esta wa ura bu eno kabwe buli mu kuyimba walwe buli mu worship team mu buyimba mm. kati nga abamu still era bawereza abamu benalabye mm. nga basibye bitambala ku mitwe nga bahajati mm. bali muli batambula babongota we bati nga bali nga overnight mm. batambula babongota ne ngamba mu kama techi echiri wano mm. nga sibitegeerekeka amen mu bitegeere that is a message also so let us, I think, I don't know, but one thing I know, so, uh, so let me, one thing I know, God is not a man. God is God. And if he's God, Whatever he intends, will fulfill it. Whether with you, or not with you. Whether with me, or whether without me. What he intends, he is God. He will fulfill it. But the writer of Isaiah says, God looked around and he said, Whom shall I send? Had we finished that verse? Amen? Yes, we had finished it. So, let us go to Isaiah. And he said, Whom shall I send? Whom shall I send? This is God asking himself. Whom shall I send? I think it is Isaiah 6. Are you there? I think it is verses, verses 8. It starts with, uh, with verse 1, but I think let us go to 8. But it starts with verses 1, when God was commissioning Isaiah. 
Then I heard a voice. This is Isaiah saying. Of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here I am. Send me. This is Isaiah. God was looking for a certain, there was a purpose to be done. And everyone was on his own things. And he said, whom shall I send? Because I say everyone is on, is on his ways. He's doing his own works. Whom shall I send? Isaiah heard the voice. And Isaiah himself answered. Send me, Lord. There is a calling always. Who will stand in that gap? There is always a calling from the Lord. Who will stand in for me? Whom shall I send in for this? Who is going to do this for me? Who is going to hold this? Who will stand in for me here? And everyone is looking around. We need people like Isaiah in this generation. Who says, Lord, I'm here. I'm ready to use me. Use me. Take me. Ntwala. Use me. Nkose, I am here, Lord. Use me. Nkose, the way you like. Engeli, jo, the way you want Nge, it. Ngabo, yagala, Use me, Lord. Nkose, sa, Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor. Gamba, kulina, Tell your neighbor. Gamba, kulina, before you cry. Tell your neighbor. Before you cry. How many things. That you can point at. And say God. Have mercy on me. Look at this. Look at this. I'm the one who's standing in for this. Before crying for God, first ask yourself how many things you can Point two. And say, God, look at what I'm going through. I know your name. But look at the things I'm doing. Look at this. Look at this. Lord, have mass on me. God, I need your grace. Look how I'm putting in. I put in a lot to come up with this. To do this. To be able to minister to you. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, hallelujah. Gamba neighbor won't hallelujah. No nya katonda. Seek God. Katonda agenda kuvira you. God is going to reveal himself to you. No nya bantu. Seek people. Ogenda kuswala nyu. 
You're going to be ashamed. Seek for people. And tie yourself on people. You cling on them. You're going to be ashamed. Seek God and cling yourself on God and see where you, you will end up. The people you're clinging on are the people that are going to cling themselves on you. Seek God. Seek God. 